Now I have already downloaded the asset. So in here, I'm just going to right click and then copy. And then I'll just go to Visual Studio. And on the previous part, we said that the application assets need to be stored in the root folder. I'm just going to expand this one. Then I'll just right click, go to open folder in File Explorer, and then paste the assets in here. Now, if we just go back to Visual Studio, you can see that inside the assets folder, we have another CSS folder, a JavaScript, a syntax highlighter, and also an images folder. So what we can do in here is that we can just move all the CSS from this folder to the folder that you already have. And if I open this site.css, you can see that this is just like an empty or it had just like some basic HTML. So we can actually remove this file. I'm just going to right click, delete. Let's open this one, select these two files, which has the style.css and the tailwind.css, drag and drop in here. Never prompt. Okay, the data is moved. Let us move the images folder in the same level as the other folders. So now we have assets, CSS, images, etc. Let us do the same for JavaScript. I'm going to select all these three files. And inside here, I have just a site.js. I'm just going to drag and drop them in here. I can remove the CSS and also the JS folder. And then let's move this folder in the same level as the other folders. Now we can just right click in here and delete this folder. Now let us go and reference all these files. For that, let us just go to views and then in here go to layout.csharp HTML. Because we said that this is the first view that gets rendered, which means that all the CSS or JavaScript that you want to use throughout the app needs to be defined in here. Just close this one. So I have more coding space. And you can see that I'm already referring in here this site.css. So let us also refer the tailwind. So link. Or I can just copy actually this one in here, paste it down here, and then change this from site CSS to be tailwind.css. We are going to also change the app title. Let's say circle app or just circle. Let us scroll down. In here, let us also remove the 2024 and just keep circle. And we can also remove the link to privacy. And then down here, let us also refer the scripts. I said scripts, control KC to add a comment. And then down here, I'm just going to copy the first one, paste it in here. This is going to be on the root folder. And then we're just going to have JavaScript. And then let us first import the UI kit. The second one is going to be the simple bar. And the third one is going to be the script.js. Now here, let us also change the fav icon. Let's scroll up. And then just before or after the title, just going to set a link. This is going to have an href to the fav icon. So inside images, we have Fav icon. We are going to set the rel attribute to be an icon. And then we're going to also set the type to be an image and then PNG. Now let us save the changes and let us run the app to see if all the assets are being loaded successfully. And the first thing that you can see in here is that we have the Fav icon here at the top. Let us press F12. This is going to open the developer tools. Just going to put it down here and then go to network, refresh the browser and let us see the result down here. And you can see that if I filter, for example, just for JavaScript, you can see that I have now in here the UI kit, the simple bar and also the script.js. Let us also filter for CSS. 
you can see that we have the tailwind, but we don't have the site.css. So let us go back to Visual Studio. Let us search in here. So CSS. We don't have a site.css. So let's just go to the Solution Explorer. It's actually called now style.css. Just change this to style. And then click this button here that looks like fire for a hot reload. And let's go back to the browser. And now you can see that we have the tailwind. We also have the style.css.